somehow I've perfectly been able to make the right size, like, uh, like exact sky vault. Yo, how do you guys? John or Jensen here. Today, I'm bringing a brand new episode of Core Factions. Of course, today we're back on the block and see how you guys did today. I am doing freaking fantastic, guys. Welcome back to a brand new episode today. We got a load of people around with us right now because for some reason, I think they know I'm recording. You know, when I'm in VIP mode, right, that means I'm recording. That's uh, that's essentially how it goes. But guys, welcome back to a brand new episode. Thank you so much to everybody that has, uh, you know, joined the server and is coming and chilling with me right now. Of course, like I said, the IP is up at the top right down in the description. If you guys do want to come and join, then this is my server which has been in development for so so long but we're finally here in beta so that you guys can come along and join by the way we currently have a 30% uh, a off sale just saying you know it's 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 active for like a good amount of time like it's it's gonna be going off at the end of this week most likely so guys make sure you do well actually it'll be going off on Thursday so make sure that you guys do if you want to pick up anything pick it up before then because you know we're not gonna be having a sale any time after then enough of that and let's get in with today's episode now our last episode we started off by getting some we're just kind of situated and make sure that we've got a spawner and whatnot so that's you know that's all good but guys today before we get into anything you already know what we've got to do all right we've got to open some crate keys so we have some mystery crates in our account right now which we're going to go ahead and open and uh, you know spin for and see what we can get so without further ado let's open this if you guys missed the last episode we actually opened an alpha key um so yeah make sure you go check that out oh, i didn't have any game sounds for some reason i need to fix that because that's really annoying not to have but what are we going to get oh come on come on Ah, oh, what did we get? We got 32 golden apples. Wow. We really did just get mugged off with that. Okay, there we go. There's some sound. As we like to see. All right, we're going to open one more for today and see what we can pick out of this. Imagine we get super lucky and get a core. Imagine we got a core. We're not going to get a core. We're actually about to get more apples. No, come on. Did we? Oh, we got it. We got the looter sword. Yo, we actually just got it right there. We now have a looting five sword. Oh, my freaking goodness, dude. We have a looting five sword, which means we can now grind out. So if we actually head over to slash home right now, um, we just got to wait a few seconds, but we should. Oh, by the way, I was standing around spawn. Okay. And, uh, you know, while standing around spawn, people were, you know, obviously just dropping me things. And uh, one of the things that I got dropped right here was indeed the legends crown. All right. Which is, <laughs> which is my crown. All right. I am, you know, the factions legend. All right. We're keeping that in our chest for now. I don't really need a lot of that stuff on me in my HS, but I've been doing a load of grinding, um, obviously off camera so that I could, you know, hopefully do some stuff for today. Um, now I see a lot of you guys have given me feedback in terms of the prices that everything sells at. Um, there's been adjustments to some things. Um, I think more specifically with blaze spawners. Um, but you know, it, things have been adjusted and as far as I know, everything is good. Um, head prices since the last episode have been adjusted. So, you know, th for example, cow heads now sent for t sell for $10, pig heads sell for $7.50. So, you know, essentially the better the better the item, you know, the um the, the more it sells for, which wasn't previously there. Um, we've also added the ender pearl cooldown into the war zone as well. Um, so you know that that is now a thing, which is uh you know good because we we you know we don't really want people just um just being able to okay we can't actually sell that we need to start killing with this again. Um, we need to yeah the, the, that was a, that wasn't a thing previously but it is now so that's that's all good up and fixed. Um, now we have thirty five XP levels. Okay, so. One thing I need to check quickly is can we actually level up our slash spawners? I think we can. Oh yeah, we, d we, we definitely can. We have plenty of XP to level this up. So we could theoretically right now click this one, boom, and we've leveled up to the pig spawners. GG. All right, so that did actually take not too many levels off of us actually because I think we were a good level anyway. So we do still need a load of XP um, to level it up, but we are not actually that far off of pigs, uh, off of... Um, off of cow spawners here, but the pig spawners are pretty expensive. So I think for the second, we're just going to stick with the, you know, with the chicken heads or the chicken, uh, the chicken spawners, I guess, because for right now they are just, you know, an easier way for us to, to make a little bit of money. So one thing I have noticed is for right now, um, we don't really have a lot of place to store things, you know, like we don't have uh, like really, well, anywhere really to store things. So what I was thinking is for this episode, we're going to return to our roots right here. And before we actually get like a proper faction going, I'm going to do something which is, uh, you know, a little bit newbie, right? But it's it's going to get us started here for sure. Um, whilst we're, you know, whilst we're still grinding up the spawners so that we can actually, you know, go ahead and do some things. By the way, there's some exciting new things going to be coming out soon. Um, I'm going to be... There's in, in our discord essentially there's now a changelog channel so that any updates to the server essentially will go into there Um, so you know that if we ever fix anything then it should go into there So yeah, hopefully hopefully that's uh, that's that's gonna be good But for right now, um, what we're gonna do is we will drop another slash wild in a minute But I think for the second, um, i'm gonna head over to spawn 
Actually, no, we don't want to go to spawn. We want to go to um, warp shop because I am going to need to grab some wood. I don't think we have any, do we? Do we have any wood in our PB? I think we have wood in our PB. Um, no, we don't have any in there. Do we? Oh, we have some in our inch. Okay, so we don't even need to be here right now. Um, but what we do need actually is tripwire hooks, which if we go over to this dude right here, I think... No, it doesn't have them. Okay, that's fine. Um, so we just need to grab some trip wire hooks quickly, which I honestly don't even know if they are in the store. But we will head over to here because I know that there's chests over here at least. Yeah, so we could buy some trap chests right here. Um, I'm mostly not sure how many we're gonna need. Um, but for right now, I guess I'll just buy like 32. That'll work for for the second here. Um, all right. So if we let me do this real quick. Boom. Uh, slash craft. Let's just make these into some regular chests. There we go. Nice. Uh, we're probably going to need some more. So where were they? My ender chest? Yeah, right here. Boom. Um, all right. So let's craft this out right now. Um, slash craft. And hopefully this will give me 30. Yeah, this will end up giving me 32 of each chest. So we're going to head over to spawn. I'm going to slash wild. I'm going to go find somewhere real quick. Actually, do we have... I think we have blocks in our chest. Yeah, right here. Um, I'm going to go find somewhere real quick to, uh, to, you know, get a sky vault going. And then I'll see you guys in a sec. All right. Somehow I've perfectly been able to make the right size, like, uh, like exact sky vault with all of the chests I had. Like, I don't know how I've perfectly managed to do that, but I somehow have. So uh, this is my sky vault. So let me set home SV up here real quick. Perfect, and uh, yeah, we we now need to go and destroy our little thing that we made to uh, to get up here. But um, you know, th this is this is going to be good for right now. I will of course build it up. I'll probably put signs on top as well, just to you know block some mini maps from doing it or some mini maps from finding it. But uh, for right now, this is you know this is going to be good. All right, so this is now my temporary storage place up here. Um, so I'm going to be just storing, I guess, everything that's kind of been in my e chest and everything, apart from you know whatever I actually want to save. So like creeper eggs, stuff like that. Uh, silk touch pick. Um, um, this looting sword, the core token. Other than that, pretty much everything else can jump straight into here. Um, because you know, I, I, I don't know. <laughs> I should technically not keep that, but you know what? I'm going to keep it anyway. Uh, anything else really though can be, you know, stored up in here and, uh, saved away for uh, whenever I actually, you know, properly need it or whatever. So I'm going to just keep everything in here for now and, uh, you know, see how it goes. Hopefully this doesn't get insta-rated. It, whoa, I don't want to put that in there. It very well could do because, you know, it's not the most stable base in the world. But since technically TNT and everything is disabled right now anyway, it's not really going to make too much of a, you know, too much of an issue here because, you know, well, I, not that anyone would TNT this anyway, but I'm saying, you know, like it, we can't really, well, we could, yeah, realistically right now would be the best time to build a, uh, a claim base but you know what I'm not smart all right I'm not smart um, okay so let's just chuck in some of the stuff that's in our PV as well because we're not going to need all of this in here um, this sharpness this protection we can keep these stuff in here though because they're you know they're decently good um, but stuff like this hoppers we can keep safe um, proximity detectors we definitely want to keep safe but all of this stuff right here can can go. I don't know why this core token is not enchanted, but uh, you know, I think it will still work. So as long as we can chuck it in our e chest, I'm not too fast. It won't stack, but that's fine. Um, all right. So where did we put all of our armor? Hello, armor. I think I would put it over here somewhere in this chest, maybe. Okay. I don't think we put armor in here yet, but it can go with the tools. Um, mob drops right there. Boom, boom. Um, I guess I'll put some ender pearls in there for right now as well. Um, that can go in there. Then like a, I guess a raiding little chest right there. Boom. We don't need those in there. And that can go in there. And the grass blocks can go in the blocks chest, which is this one right here. Perfect. All right. So we got everything organized. This is looking good right now. And, uh, you know, I think we've got a nice little sky vault going right now. Uh, I need to head back over to my home B real quick. And, uh, you know, actually, actually keep grinding these spawners. Because I think in two or, yeah, two levels, I'm pretty sure. I don't know why it does that. I think in two levels, I'm pretty sure I can actually rank up my spawner again. Which will be, you know, which will be OP for this episode. So if we actually have a look. Um, how much is it? Oh wait, can we already? No, okay, we can't do it yet. We don't have the amount of experience. But I think that would be at level thirty. Yeah, that's got to be at level thirty when we can upgrade that one. So I'm gonna uh, you know, sit here, AFK this one spawner real quick, and see if we can level it up again. Um, I don't know if we'll be able to. What is it, cow spawner? They're gonna be expensive to buy. So honestly. Although I'm leveled up, I might just keep, um, you know, I might just keep grinding cow, uh, like chicken spawners for a little bit. That's what I kind of want to do. But, you know, I do need, uh, I do need to make some quick money here. So what I'm thinking I'm going to do for right now is I know that, um, wheat farms seem to make a decent amount of money. So I'm thinking for right now, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to make a little wheat farm through here. Um, once we get really like a skeleton spawner, then I guess it would, wow. 
Free emeralds, dude. Free freaking emeralds. <laughs> well, I guess that gives away what biome in, uh, this, this this little base is in. <laughs> um, but no, for right now, I'm going to make a little wheat farm because, it, you know, it's been making, apparently, people decent money. So that's what I'm going to do real quick. And then that should, you know, that should boost me up enough to get a couple spawners going um, and to get this place a little bit more efficient right now because, obviously, one spawner is not a lot. You're chicken. You're really just going to come in here, bro? You're just going to come up all up in my space right here and just, you know, wow. Wow. All right, so I think I've got just the general place that I want to make it now. Um, so I'm just quickly grabbing some water buckets. Um, because we just need some of those. And dang, you can only buy them in that quantity. All right, that's got to be fixed because I only actually want two. Thinking about it, um, I could just go and get some, like make something. I might as well just buy it. I'm just gonna buy it. All right, we, we, it's an investment we have to make. All right, all right. So home. Um, let's just go back to our base right now. I think I've got everything that I need to make. Um, oh wait, no, I don't. Well, I have some seeds, but I should probably get some more because you know that's that's not very many. Um, all right, let me buy some seeds real quick, and then we will go in with making a uh, a little farm. I guess this is our first farm right here. D Sixteen seeds of four hundred dollars. You know what? I think I'll pass. I think I'll pass. I think what I'm gonna do actually. Is if I go slash back, I wonder where this will take me. Hopefully it takes me. I think it's going to take me to my base. But if it takes me out in the wilderness, it's not the end of the world. Um, no, it takes me to my base. Okay. Um, all right. In which case, we're going to fill this up real quick. Um, I'm going to leave one pathway down the middle. Honestly, I don't know how I'm going to do it yet. Because I want to put the water down the middle, obviously. Um, but we'll see how this is going to work real quick. Um, so I went out and grabbed a shovel so that I didn't have to keep buying stuff because you know it was uh, I don't know It's uh, some of the things at the shop are a lot of money in comparison to what I have right now Obviously in the future once we're OP then you know, it's not gonna be any money at all So I'm not really worried about the prices or anything. It's just for right now as a starting off person things are expensive All right, things are freaking expensive. All right, so I'm thinking we put the water right down this middle part right here um, like that it should meet. Yeah, it does. Okay, that, that'll do for now then, I guess. Um, that'll be fine. And then, of course, we need a hoe. 27 chickens. All right, let's kill all these dudes real quick. Get some easy money from these guys. And then we need to use our, you know, we need to go find a hoe. Or I guess we need to craft one. I don't know how we're going to do that because we don't have any diamonds yet. Um, hmm. Should probably go, should probably go body for diamonds real quick. <laughs> it's, it's actually kind of tempting. Um, do we go and sell hand? I need to go and get some diamonds for sure, but I don't know whether I should just go buy them. I, I guess I, I guess I'm gonna have to really, aren't I? I guess I should. Uh, here, let me sell at least what I have right here. Sell hand. Um, we're gonna sell hand these as well. Okay, we can't sell that. We can sell coal though. All right. Um, warp shop. So we need two diamonds real quick, um, and then we're gonna be good. I think I need some wood as well because I don't have any wood left. My freaking goodness, dude, we're, we're having to spend a lot of money today, but it's honestly going to be worth it, I think. Well, I hope, anyway. Um, where are we going? We need to go to ores and minerals, which is this way. Um, okay, how much is one diamond? Please don't be ridiculous. I think it's $200. I think we're good. Yeah, it is. Okay, we're good. We can buy two of those, and then we just need to go buy a load of wood, because we don't have a load of wood right now. We used it all on the chest that we needed, which is fine, because, you know, ultimately, ultimately we still needed the chest, so it's not the end of the world. But, uh, yeah, let's go, let's go grab some, what do we want? Let's just grab some oak logs. How much is it? Okay, it's not much at all. I think we'll be good, and this will last us a little while as well. Um, alright, slash craft, let's make this up real quick. Boom, boom, and boom. Perfect. Alright, home. Home B. There we go. Let's head back over. So this should be the start of our little wheat farm. Obviously, I will expand this as we go um, because, you know, it's very, very small right now. But for right now, what it is, is, you know, it's 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 going to it's going to work. It's going to work. All right. We are, of course, going to grab some bone meal here in a second as well. Um, I need to make sure the bones aren't too expensive as well, because if they are, then it's going to be completely pointless making bone meal. One thing I do need to real quickly do as well is this. Um, slash, oops, not slash raft, slash craft. There we go. And we also need to put some light in there. So let's do that real quick. Um, oh, wait, I think I actually need more of those slabs. I probably should have done it. Yeah, I'm going to do a cobblestone. I have way more cobblestone. There we go. I did not mean to make that many, but it's okay. It's okay, dude. <laughs> all right, let's 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 go all the way to the end of here with these slabs, and then this will be easy. Easy. Oops, oops, oops. I did not mean to do that. I think I just blocked up the water. Okay, we're good, we're good. I get breaks, both of them, when I do that. And perfect. All right, so let's jump in with some lighting as well. Let's put this up here, up here, up here, and here. And we should be good, I think. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're good. If not, then, I mean, I can always place, you know, like, something here. Yeah, in fact, I'm going to do that real quick. I'm just going to place that one right there. 
and we should still be able to walk over it. Yes, we can. Perfect. And that's all staying nice and uh, nice and nice and whatever you call that. I don't. <laughs> what do you actually call this? Like, I don't know what the the state of this is is called. You know, because I mean, I'd say I, I hoed it, but like that's not that's not the correct terminology at all. All right, let's uh, let's use some of these real quick, and then we're gonna need to buy some bone meal. All right. Um. So. Do we hatch? We, we must have some bones just from killing mobs in general. Chickens, you need to really get back in there. Like, okay, let me kill them all real quick. And then I have a plan, all right? And then I have a freaking plan so that we keep wandering around the place. We are gonna... Oh, oops, that's not what I wanted to do. Uh, what I do want to do, however, is this. Uh, so that I can... Okay, not that. I needed it the other way around. Which means I'm gonna have to craft a load more of these real quick. And like that. That's not what I want to do. That's not what I want to do. All right, that's what I want to do. Just needed one of those. There we go. Perfect. And will I even be able to do it? That'll work, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure they can't get in there either way. So that'll work for now. Um, all right. Perfect. So we got a little farm going in here real quick. Um, I do need to quickly sell these. But I also do need to go to the shop and get some bones. Uh, we're going to go check, see how much the prices are for this. Now, hopefully, this is going to be my source of making money. But this isn't my permanent source, right? I will be probably making a melon farm because melon farms are always a good starter right here. So that's uh, that's going to be the idea. Now, let me find some bones, which should be over here. Uh, 64 for $256 worth. I'm buying some of those and I'm going back. And now I should have a load of bone meal uh, once I get back home. Um, so let me go home B real quick. We're going to chuck in our e-chest this, um, these, the... Honestly, I don't think I need anything else in my e-chest right now. All right, let's uh, let's make some of this. You know what? We'll make it all into bone meal. We have a lot of bone meal now. All right, here's the deal. All this is going to grow. Boom. One, two, 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 one, two. One, two. All right, perfect. So I'm thinking, guys, so this is the thing is I'm going to just start discussing custom features with you guys, all right? Because there's a load of things which I want to add, which I want to get your feedback on before, you know, are actually added. So, for example, one of the first things that I... I keep doing that. One of the first things that I have thought about um, is someone someone kind of recommended something similar, but it wasn't exactly the same. Basically, adding a custom bone meal that does three bone meals at a time. So their suggestion really was to do it so that it just takes three bone meal. But I'm thinking if we add like a custom bone meal that looks enchanted and just call it like a super bone meal or something um so that you can you know you can purchase those for a little bit more than regular bone meal but it will essentially do three bone meals at a time so that you can stack 64 of them but each one you do will fully grow crops that's what i'm thinking um so let me know if that's you know something that you think will be you know useful at all and if it is then we will look into getting it added as a feature now why did that not drop any seeds okay it was just luck i just had terrible luck just had freaking terrible luck, dude. <laughs> terrible freaking luck. All right, 14. There we go. We're starting to build up the farm. You know, it wasn't really worth... But I guess the reason that the seeds were originally quite a lot is because... um, Is because, like... I don't know, just the original price of them. So starting a farm, you know, shouldn't be cheap. You should have to have resources to be able to start it, which is fair enough, you know. I think that's, uh, you know, a good thing in many ways. So I guess we're good. All right, let's just continue farming this real quick. I think, honestly, the seeds are one of the things that sell for a lot. I will probably end up, once I actually do this properly, making this into a actual, you know, actual farm farm, like an auto farm or something. Did I jump on that? I feel like I probably did jump on that because I think it's got water perfectly fine. Did I see a name tag? I think I did. I think I was just seeing things, guys. I think I'm just seeing things. Oh, my goodness. We're actually not going to... Uh, I don't think the bone mill's worth, honestly. I genuinely, at this point, don't think that the bone meal is worth. I'm just trying to figure that, figure this out, but I don't think we're going to make the money back. We might. I don't know. We might make the money back. I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure if we're going to make the money back on these. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see using the full amount of bone meal how much we make back, because then we'll be able to tell, you know? Because, look, we're already on our last stack of bone meal right now, and we don't have too much stuff, so we'll have to have a look at this, but we need to make sure that, you know, using bone meal is going to be is going to be profitable because otherwise we're going to end up buying bone mill and just losing money each time that we farm which isn't you know isn't useful but i'm thinking you know realistically you don't really want to have it so that it's making you money because otherwise people you know will just be able to literally just just kind of duplicate money in a way i guess not because it's still effort and you still do have to do stuff so i guess it's not the end of the world but you know we'll see we'll see all right 52 seeds um so my bone mill i literally have five bone mill left i think i've farmed a good amount of seeds from this straight off the bat so you know i think we're good to good to go with those because we now have some spare for the other side as well um which is always what we want to see 
But yeah, I'm thinking probably melon farms are a good good way of making money. I really don't know yet. Um, but let's see if this bone mill has been profitable for. Um, so how much did we buy the bone mill for is the question. I don't really remember. Does it say it in a chat anywhere? I think people talk too much. I think people talk too much. That's what I think. All right. So if we now just do sell, uh, sell hand real quick. Yeah. So we didn't make it straight off of those, but I guess the seeds that we got from this, we probably made it off of for sure. Like in terms of buy price, for sure we made it off of. Um, I need to sell some of these real quick as well. Sell hand. Uh, so hand boom. Uh, honestly, it wasn't too far from making money. Um, so I'm not too worried about that. But you know, we'll, we'll we'll work on that here in the future. But today, I do definitely before I end this episode want to be buying another one of these. Um, I think I just leveled up as well, which I did. Um, so I'm thinking I can probably now um actually level up my spawners, which honestly I'm gonna do because we're gonna be changing the spawners soon. Um, I believe to to cost money as well. So um yeah, I'm I'm just gonna try and level it up whilst I can. Oh, I can't yet. Okay, that's fine. I don't mind not being able to do that yet. That's that's absolutely fine. All right, in which case, um, I'm gonna you know wait for some chickens to spawn and wait for some crops to grow, and I'll see you guys in a second. So I'm not gonna be able to grind all the way up to 10k because it's gonna take me a long, long time. Like there's, uh, I need to make this farm way bigger or change it to like I don't know, like a like a cocoa bean farm or melon farm or something like that but uh yeah we'll, we'll see about that hopefully in the next episode but we got a load done today guys hopefully you have enjoyed this episode if you have you know what to do smash the like button right now and uh also comment your idea yeah I'll, I'll, I'll give away some crate keys guys i'll do it every episode um from now on and then after that i think what i'm gonna try and do is i'm gonna hide some codes in some videos or something i don't know we'll find out but guys thank you so much for tuning in today and i'll see you in the next episode of factions from the block mc